we're heading downtown Toronto. Welcome to One of Kind Show in Toronto, where local artisans display their One of Kind products in food, decoration, clothing, and jewelry, and so much more. I'm going to take a look and share with you what products I buy at home. Kind show and I'm here to show you some of the products that we got. So one of them, this one is the Okazu Chili Miso and it costs $14. So in the description it reads, Chili Okazu is a versatile super sauce. Try on rice, pizza, dumplings, eggs, burgers, grilled vegetables and so much more. Enjoy. So I'm going to try it on instant noodles. So I just made some beef flavored instant noodles with the broth was from Campbell's pork ramen flavor. So yeah, so I'm gonna try out what it tastes like. So here's the spoon. Oh I got it before that, I gotta shake it up. Shake it. It smells um, like sesame oil. Put some. I don't know how much we're supposed to put on it, but let's try it out. Ooh, it's nice chili oil. It's not too spicy. The flavor that we chose is a medium spiciness, and it is um. It tastes, it's got this numbing chili um, flavor to it. It's pretty good. And in the description below, I'll link the website, the company's website, so that you can be able to buy the sauce. So they gave me a booklet on how to use Okazu Japanese miso chili sesame oil condiment. And you can put it on rice. You can put it on sushi or fried rice, pizza, pasta, baked potatoes, mac and cheese, and so much more. So yeah, tastes pretty good. Next, we got the foie gras, and it's twenty eight dollars. And I'll link the company's name down below in the description box so you can um, check out their website. And it's at one hundred and forty grams, so it's a very small container. I'm gonna open it up. It's got this yellow texture of consistency. I'm putting it on my pumpernickel bread. And let's try it out what it tastes like. Mmm, it's very meaty and a little gamey. Yeah, it tastes like picking duck. <laughs> oh, it's very good. It's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it because it's got a really a mixture of umami flavor, all kinds of flavor all together. A little bit sweet, a little bit salty, and a little bit everything. It's a good, it's a good product. Next. We have the bay meats. These are beef jerkies and they cost $10 for um, a bag. I will in the description box below list out their website if you're interested in purchasing one. It's gluten free and nitric free and it's Canadian made beef made in Thunder Bay. So this particular one that we got, we wanted to try it out, is extra hot. So let's see. I 
I'm going to take a big piece. Mm -hmm. It smells very smoky. It's not too bad. It's not too hot. But it's really hard to chew. It's a little salty. And it's tasty. So baked meats, they sell beef jerkies. And then they have mild teriyaki, hot, spicy, cracked pepper, and pepperettes at the top with different flavor as well. So next I wanted to show in the midst of all the food, I also purchased this um, calming ointment. And I'll link down the web business website so that you can purchase if you want. This costs $19. I find it really good. It's a calming ointment with tea tree and lavender oil. It's really good in terms of helping me with my dry hand. So, as you can see, um, it's it's not too greasy and it sits it sinks down into your skin. So it's very good. So the next product that I want to show you from when a kind show is different kind of marriott sauces and the brand is called Saha. I will link in the description box with their business website. It's handmade in Toronto, Canada in small batches. No uh, additives or preservatives. Gluten free and vegan low calorie, low total fat and saturated fat, cholesterol and trans fat free, all products are low in sugar and most have no sugar added. Simple standard directions are printed on each jar and additional recipes using each products are available online. So I'm excited to try. I can show you what they have available. I have a small sample of it. So these are four jars and they're total for a cost of $30 for four. So I've got the jerk marinate, um, green seasoning is a Caribbean style, and then butter chicken, I have tried it previous years, it's very tasty, and then last but not the least, it's a little bit harder to pronounce, it's, it helps you, it says the pronunciation is shush to walk. This one. So today I have pre prepared and marinated um, duck breast with the jerk marinade. And it's been sitting there for two hours in the fridge. Okay, so we've got the trusty Instapod here. We're going to pour it in the duck meat. And we're going to turn it on and pressure cook. For 12 minutes. And then on to the next product. This is a hot sauce that tastes um, sour, sweet, and hot. So uh, the, the name is called Maddox. It's a spicy condiment. And I'll link their business website down below. It's good for tofu burgers, french fries, eggs of any kind, and so much more. And the ingredient is vinegar, onion, potato, papaya, garlic, scotch, bonnet, pepper, squash, spices, sea salt, mustard, gluten-free soy sauce, coconut milk, vegetable oil, brown sugar, herbs, and yeast. So I'm excited to try it. Um, as you can see, I have already tried it, but I'm going to show you what it tastes like with sweet potato fries. So I cut one big sweet potato fries with, um, with a dash of salt and olive oil, and we're going to put it in the air fryer.
and we're going to cook for 12 minutes, same as this one, and then we'll see how it tastes after this. Last but not least, we're here to try the um, jerk marinade with some duck breast. It's come from the Instapot, and here to try. Mmm, it's very meaty, and the meat is um, soft and chewy. It's very good. And this is from the brand Saha. It's a little bit of a sour and spicy taste to it as well. So next, I'm just going to drink some water so I can taste. The next is sweet potato fries with the brand Maddo's um, hot sauce. So I'm just going to pour a little bit and then try it out. Yeah, so I really like this hot sauce because it's sour, it's got the vinegar, so it's got a little bit of sourness and sweetness, as well as the spiciness. But when you actually, after the aftertaste is mainly the sour and the spiciness. And it, it's um, the, this whole bottle, which is how many? 300 milliliter, and it's only $10, and I'm going to repurchase it for sure. So it's very, very tasty. That's great. Thank you for joining me on this trip to Wine and Coin Show and unboxing all the products. And I'll see you at the next episode. Bye!